As you watch this video, I believe your first priority in life should be to strive to reach the city that Jesus promised us he has gone to prepare. He said that where he is. We will be also missing that place, my dear friend, would be a great loss. Today, there are many people who are committed to paying tithes, but are simultaneously living sinful lives, leading a double life, which is truly saddening. It's crucial to understand. It's crucial to understand that money will never buy a place in heaven, but it is through Jesus Christ that we can find salvation. Paying tithes is indeed a biblical command, but it's not the sole requirement for salvation. Simply attending church, having your name on the church register, being a faithful tithe payer, and even being a devoted worshiper are not enough. God requires more than mere outward religious practices. You can't get saved by beating on the altar or by paying your tithe or keeping some days or abstaining from meats. Salvation doesn't come through those actions. It is by faith that you are saved, and that is through the grace of God. But, you know, I feel like this. A member of a church, their first obligation with their tithes and offerings is to support their church. If you're a committed member of your church, you should support your church. That's your first duty to God. Bring your tithes and offerings into the storehouse. And the storehouse, you surely know what that is. It's where you get your food. So just as you receive your spiritual food from your church, your obligation is to support it, not an evangelist like me. Supporting your local church through tithes and offerings is indeed a vital responsibility for every member. By faithfully contributing to the church, you are helping to sustain the ministry, outreach efforts, and various activities that nourish your spiritual growth. Just as you rely on the storehouse for physical sustenance, your church serves as a spiritual storehouse, providing the nourishment and guidance your soul needs. While evangelists and other ministries play essential roles in spreading the gospel, your primary commitment should be to your church community. It's a beautiful way to demonstrate your love for God and your dedication to His work on earth. As you faithfully support your church, you contribute to its impact on the lives of others and the advancement of God's kingdom, making a significant difference in the world around you. Remember, the body of Christ is a united family, and each member's faithful participation strengthens and uplifts the entire community of believers. Recall the story of Cain and Abel. Cain also offered sacrifices just as Abel did, but that was not enough to find favor with God. Similarly, today, many people try to impress God with extravagant displays in churches, but God is not pleased with showy externalities. He desires genuine devotion and a sincere heart. Instead of presenting Easter flowers or other superficial offerings, God desires for us to place ourselves on the altar, surrendering our lives entirely to Him. Paying tithes alone does not guarantee entry into heaven. Heaven is a place for those who are filled with the Holy Spirit and living in holiness. It's not about being a tithe giver alone. It's about having a genuine relationship with God and living a holy life. Attempting to bribe or deceive God is futile. Even if you manage to appear holy before others, God knows the true state of your heart. You must be fully committed to God not just to please your pastor or others, but to genuinely seek His will and follow His commands. Approaching God based on your own goodness or the merits of others will not suffice. Only by coming to God through the sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ, confessing your sins and accepting Him as your Lord and Savior, can you receive the Holy Spirit and become a new creation we must not be swayed by enticing spirits or substitute the true word of God with other teachings. Faith and hope have their distinct roles, 
and genuine faith in God's word is irreplaceable. Let us genuinely pay our tithes with clean spirits and sober minds while also living holy lives. The time is running short and our Savior will soon appear. Let us strive to be ready and faithfully serve Him. As you reflect on the message shared in this video, I want to leave you with a heartwarming and uplifting word of encouragement. It's never too late to turn your life around and make things right with God, no matter how far you may have strayed. Remember that God's love is boundless and His arms are always open to receive those who come to Him with a repentant heart. The path of righteousness and salvation is available to each one of us, and it starts with sincere repentance. God's grace is greater than any sin or mistake you may have committed. When you confess your sins, seek His forgiveness, and accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, He will wash away your past and give you a fresh start. He will fill you with His Holy Spirit and empower you to live a life that pleases Him. Let go of the burdens of guilt and shame. For the price for your redemption has already been paid by Jesus on the cross. Embrace His love and mercy and allow Him to guide you on the path of righteousness. Remember, it's not about religious rituals or external displays, but about the condition of your heart. Seek a genuine relationship with God walking hand in hand with Him each day. As you commit yourself fully to Him, you will experience His blessings and peace beyond measure. Repentance is not a sign of weakness. It's an act of courage and strength. So, I encourage you today to turn away from sin and turn towards God. Let His love transform your life and lead you to that promised city where we will be with Him for eternity. May this be a moment of transformation and renewal in your life. May you find the true joy and fulfillment that comes from walking in the light of God's love. May you experience the freedom of a forgiven heart and the assurance of eternal life in His presence. You are valued, cherished, and deeply loved by God. He longs for your return, and today can be the day of your salvation. Repent believe and embrace the gift of salvation through Jesus Christ with God all things are possible and a beautiful future awaits you let the grace of God wash over you and may you find the strength to live a life that brings glory to him remember you are not alone in this journey seek support from a local church or fellow believers who can walk alongside you May your life become a living testimony of God's grace and mercy, inspiring others to turn their hearts towards Him. May God bless you abundantly as you choose the path of righteousness and draw nearer to Him each day. Amen. <laughs>